Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my wine channel. This is my monthly op update for the month of July 2022. I'm here in Hong Kong in quarantine and I'm doing some, I'm here on personal business. So um, this month, the update will be a little bit different. What's on the plate for this month? Well, a couple of things. I think you'll see um, some interesting videos. Uh, I was planning to do one on a wine that I was going to drink in the um, Air Canada Signature Suite at YVR. Um, it was going to be, they had the Martins Lane 2014 Pinot Noir, which I decided to drink. Unfortunately, when I got there, they ran out of it. So I couldn't do the review, but um, you can still see at the end of this a link to my other web, my YouTube page that has a review of the lounge, the actual Signature Suite lounge in Air Canada. Um, in YVR Airport in Vancouver is actually an exceptional experience and a real game changer for business class travelers. So check that out at the end of this video. This month is going to be a little bit different, but exciting. When in Hong Kong, I get to do uh, different types of wines. And so I am here uh, seven days for quarantine. Um, it says mandatory quarantine when you come to Hong Kong. I'm at the Lanson Hotel and it's a really nice place. And the background is the um, city of Hong Kong. So. Um, thought I'd give you a little bit of view of that. It's a beautiful city. Um, so I'm going to have an opportunity to bring, drink some different wines than I would in Vancouver. Uh, my friends have been so nice to send me some wines. So one of the wines I'm going to be reviewing is the Felin Seguer 2010. I know a lot of people have a lot of interest in this wine and um, I've got um, some views on it. So I think that'll be an interesting um, review. I'm also going to do um, I'm going to stop this month on the Bordeaux basic series. I've done a lot of those videos, give a little break. Um, I think a lot of people are Bordeaux out. So, but I am going to continue on with my uh, Burgundy basic series and do a video on Cote Chalonnaise. And actually I have my friends have brought me a wine from the Macquarie region in Cote Chalonnaise. So that will be exciting also. Once I'm out of quarantine, I hope to go to some of the um, wine shops in Hong Kong, Hong Kong is a very big market for wines and there's a lot of great uh, connoisseurs here. Um, there's a lot of great wine shops, so I hope to bring you some of the selection here and just the pricing. It's, I think it's interesting for people to see um, how wines are priced and what the availability is in the other places in the world. I'm also going to do a video on um, second wines, which could not be confused with second growth wines. Um, so people have asked me about that topic and uh, I'm going to bring you a video on that. As normal, I would do a shout out to a couple of my viewers and subscribers. And again, thank you so much for your comments um, and all the great comments that I get. It really keeps me going. I really love to engage with my viewers and subscribers and clarify. I also enjoy the um, when you correct me and catch my faults. Again, I do these videos on one take. I don't, they're not pre-rehearsed. And a lot of the views are my personal views. So sometimes maybe they're not, they're, you won't agree with them. That's fine with me. I love that debate. And some facts may be uh, incorrect. And um, I'm always uh, very um, appreciative of people that do correct me in a very polite um, and respectful way. So I, I really like that. So anyways, to this month's shout out is to two viewers who say that they don't really post very much or don't comment very much, but they do uh, view uh, my videos religiously so um, the great north and also cannabinoids thank you so much and for all the viewers um, I really appreciate all your support again the next part of this video is going to be um, for my BC uh, viewers this is going to be what's in the liquor stores this month on sale and um, the only thing is that I'm not sure about the vintages you have to check the vintages closely because I'm of course I'm not in BC and I can't see what, what's actually in the stores. Um, but I've tried as much as possible to choose vintages that I'm quite sure are in the stores. Um, tell me how, what you think of this new format in terms of for the BC uh, viewers. I'm just gonna post um, a, a screenshot of what's on the BC Liquor Store website. Uh, maybe you prefer that because that has more information. I hope everyone's doing well um, and keeping safe. And until next time, happy drinking. This next part of the video is for BC uh, residents, and this is my recommended buys for the month of July 2022. We have some uh, discounts on white Bordeaux, 
and this is one that I really like. This is the Smith Alt Lafitte 2017. It is reduced from $260 to $234. Nice sharp discount. I will also mention the 2016 vintage is also on discount $220 to $194.97. Uh, the $0.97 cents denotes uh, last sale price, so you should get them. There are some um, limited bottles uh, available of this. Really, really great white wine if you're into white Bordeaux. Um, great producer. Um, a little expensive, but again, if you have the means, then it's a great buy. Another trophy wine on sale this month. This is the Klaus Apalta 2017 Chilean wine. It is reduced from $189.99 to $174.99. Not a huge discount, but always nice to get a um, sale price on a trophy wine. Um, it is a 100-point rated wine by James Suckling, 95-point wine spectator. Blend of 48% Carmemere, 26% Cabernet Sauvignon, 25% Merlot, and 1% Petit Verdot. One of the top trophy wines coming out of um, Chile. And so if you have the means, you should buy it. Next wine is one of these Love em, Hate em wines. You either love it or hate it. It is the Prisoner 2019 California Red. Price from a sharp um, decrease, $66.99 to $51.99, a $15 uh, price reduction. So you should take advantage if you like this type of big, bold, uh, U.S. style wine. Blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Syrah, Syrah, and Charbonneau. Charbonneau. And so, um, yeah, it's going to be this big, bold cab type wine. Very fruit forward, lots of oak, high alcohol. Um, so again, it's one of these wines that some people really like and some of them some people just detest So if you're into the big bold wines, this is your wine Again, there are many uh, white Bordeaux on sale a multitude of them I've chosen a expensive one which is Smith Hot Lafitte and then a inexpensive one which is Chateau Olivier um, the 2015 is available at um, $60 now reduced to $54.97 and the $97 denotes a last reduction. The $16 is also available from $65 to $59.97 and the $17 is available at the same price $60 to reduce to $54.97. Um, I like the $15 or the $17 vintages for white uh, Bordeaux and so again it's up to your choice or if you have the money you can buy all three the $15, $16, $17 have a nice vertical tasting. Another great wine that's on sale this month. This is uh, Tenuta Set Ponte, the 2018 Crognolo. Um, always a favorite, always very, done very well. It is a blend of 90% Sangiovese, 10% Merlot. So I guess you could call it a IGT wine. Um, and it is named after the Cronus, which is a wild bush that grows abundantly on this state. So really nice wine if you like Italian wines. And uh, for some reason in BC, um, the Italian wines are actually very well priced and compared to other places um, in the world. On the white wine front, I'm going to recommend a little bit more unusual wine. This is from Spain from the large producer Torres. This is their 2019 Paso de Bruces. It's uh, on sale from $34.99 to $29.99. Um, made, so it's named after some folklore about uh, the Bruces witches, which are in the forest. Um, made from Al the Alberino grape. And the Alberino grape is um, famous in Spain. Um, you're going to get more like green apple type notes to this, a little tartness. Interesting wine, um, not f great for the summer, not really for aging. Um, but for summer drinking, it's very nice. Next wine is another one of my uh, va favorite value wines, and I did do a review of this, which I'll put at the end of this video. It is the Wines of Substance, I think it's the 2018 um, CS Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, reduced from $25.99 to $23.99. This is a Washington State wine from Charles Smith, um, wines and um, the brand was created in 2015 wants to provide affordable wines um, always very good um, this is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon um, it's aged in uh, French old bar barriques 50% which are new um, for 11 months so really nice uh, deal um, 
and always a pleasurable wine to drink. I'm going to throw in a Australian wine because Australian wines are quite good value. But here's another one um, that's very um, established winery. This is Wira Wira 2018 Church Block, uh, reduced from $24.99 to $22.99. It is one of the first labels, or I think it's the first label that we were a wine company produced back in 1972. Its name is named after a, the vineyard is close to a small church called Bethany Church. So it's church block. Um, it is a blend. So it is a blend of 51% Cabernet Sauvignon, 38% Shiraz, 11% Merlot. So it really gives you nice value for the price. Nice, really wine. Um, and it, pretty decent value at $22.99. Next wine is another wine that I have reviewed um, on my site and you can I'll put a link at the end of this um, video. It is the Cunet 2017 uh, Vina Real uh, Crianza Rioja. Again from the Rioja region. Um, Cunet or the Northern Spanish Wine Company was founded in 1879. This is their Crianza wine, uh, comprised of 90% Tempranillo and 10% Grenache, Graciano, and Mazuela. Um, because it's Crianza, it's aged minimum one year in barrel and two years before it's released. Really nice value, uh, good entry level wine for, or not really an entry, it's a very uh, good quality wine for a Spanish uh, Rioja wine. So I really like this. Every month I try to pick a red and white wine under $10. And again, the aim here is not to pick one a wine that's going to be a, you know, a life changing wine here, but just something that's kind of nice and drinkable and uh, won't embarrass you and won't get you sick. So um, this month I've chosen for a white wine, So Grape. Uh, it's a Portuguese producer. They're uh, Vino Verde Gazela. The Gazela brand is a fun brand. Vino Verde is a uh, region in Portugal, and the, um, this is a blend of uh, local Portuguese grapes. Really fun, um, great summer sipper, nice acidity. Um, I like the brand, like the label. So eleven ninety nine to nine ninety nine. I check it out. For my red wine recommendation, I'm going with the Jacobs Creek um, Dots. This is the Grenache Shiraz. Uh, price from $11.99 to $9.99. With these value wines, we're not trying to hit a home run here. We're just trying to get wines that are um, going to drink well and, um, you know, get value for the money. So I like to go with uh, producers that are um, established rather than new labels. I don't want to take too many chances um, at this level. Uh, so again, Jacob's Group, well-known producer. I don't think it's a lot different than their regular um, Grenache Shiraz. Um, the label is kind of more hip and it's meant for um, you know people that are just entering the market wine market um, it's medium body is going to produce pop and open wines um, not going to be overly complex but a nice drink hope you've enjoyed this uh, video um, for those bc viewers let me know what you think of this um, format where i just present um, kind of screenshots from the bc liquor stores uh, you might prefer this because you actually get the SQU codes and you can look at the, um, you have a little bit more information when you go to buy at the liquor stores. Until next time, happy drinking.